Okay, I am Steve Long from Protective Coating Company, and I want to show how you can fix a flipper for swimming or possibly even scuba diving. And this is actually broke off, and uh, PC Products, our company has a product called Super Epoxy right here, and it is very unique. Uh, you have good work time and it will set up in maybe about six hours uh, where you could use the flipper or whatever you've bonded to. And um, what I'm going to do, the first part of this is you want to get this as clean as possible and what I do, I will take the rubber and scuff it up to uh, you know just get a little bit more bond to where the epoxy will be going so it'll secure from one side of the brake to the other side with Super Epoxy. It's a great, great product. So, okay, I just used sandpaper and I scuffed up both sides of the flipper, inside and outside. And all I have to do now is take denatured alcohol, and this dries real quick, put it on a paper towel, and I'm gonna wipe both the inside and the outside and get this clean so that the super epoxy will bond really well to the rubber uh, footwear here and should work out real real well and that's the prep it's so important the preparation to have the epoxy work on the the substrate or the item that is needed. So I'm going to mix up uh, that that'll be the next thing. The ep okay, we're mixing epoxy, super epoxy. Look at that. It comes out. It looks like Vaseline. Now that might be enough. Now uh, one, the uh, kind of the light color is the hardener. The resin is the blue side and it's going to turn just like the hardener side it just takes a few seconds to mix it up and I just keep mixing it till the blue fades out and it's all one color and then you should be good to go um, and you can see here it looks just like Vaseline um, has a good work time around depends on the ambient temperature about 15 minutes to work with it and then it about three hours later it's really hard but does have some flexibility so it'll move a little bit um, which would be great for this flipper okay here we go we got it mixed up and we're going to put it on both sides I'm going to go right down the middle and put the epoxy on there and then I'm going to smooth it out inside and outside and then put this the rubber together and make sure that it is fit real well to um, so this the epoxy will work and the flipper will continue to work like it used to okay we just put some epoxy both inside and outside of where the rubber was split so now I'm going to smooth it out denatured alcohol and just my finger and this really helps and I like to keep it about a quarter of inch or more on each side of where the rubber was split and then after that we're going to put a little piece of um, felt or something on there yep okay so I think we're ready to go with uh, okay this all right this is a uh, a really good product to put on here it'll add a little bit more strength plus flexibility and I'm just going to basically put it on that's a fiberglass you're that's using? A, that's fiberglass yep I call it felt but it is fiberglass and I'm, I want this definitely inside and on the outside and then I take denatured alcohol again with my finger wet it and it'll go right through the felt and uh, 
make the bond a little bit better. Okay, I think we're just about there. That looks great. So you adhered a fiberglass cloth right to the flipper. Yep, right with to super the, epoxy. With super epoxy, yep. Okay, okay we just, um, I smoothed it out real well on the inside of the flipper and also on the outside. And now we just have to wait for this to cure, which would be anywhere from four to six hours. It should be rock hard. And hopefully, and like it, it will definitely have some flexibility, so it should work really well. So we'll get more days, months, years, maybe out of this particular flipper. So anyway, we're good to go now. We just have to wait for it to cure in about six hours.